The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is one of the best Zelda games of all time. The open world gameplay, the fights, the adventure, and everything about it. Till this day, four years after the release, Breath of the Wild still astonishes me. Although there are some things that some of us would like to change. No video game is ever perfect, and there's always things people want to change, as well as features that would make Breath of the Wild 2 even better. So let's go over all of the features and changes we need in Breath of the Wild 2. Playing as Zelda, of course, is the first one. Who didn't want to play as Zelda in any of the games? In the first one, there was a wild chance that we thought we were going to be able to play as her, given how the trailer played out, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Zelda, most likely a stronger character than Link himself, all things considered, could definitely be an interesting character to play as in the newest game. In the trailer, it shows her traveling alongside Link, exploring a dungeon. So there's a giant chance we might be able to play as her in the newest edition but i certainly won't hold my breath pun intended especially considering in the trailer it looks like zelda falls through the door and yeah you get the idea something will happen and my dreams will die again next up we have dungeons now one of the biggest complaints for me and most likely others as well is the lack of dungeons sure there was the divine beasts and there were shrines as well as the korok mini games but there wasn't really dungeons that we're used to with zelda now don't get me wrong the content in Breath of the Wild was masterful. It was a good game, but some of these shrines and puzzles were quite easy. And sure, you know, they did have a lot of shrines, so there was a lot of content to do, but that wasn't really a substitute for large-scale dungeons. Sure, the Divine Beasts were really fun, and I really enjoyed them, but for Breath of the Wild 2, I want dungeons. It doesn't make a lot of sense for them to bring back Divine Beasts, considering we've already used them in the previous game to defeat Calamity Ganon, so their only other option is to give us dungeons or to give us new Divine Beasts. Now, one of my concerns with them going the dungeon route is there's not a whole lot of room with the large-scale dungeons given the scale that Hyrule already is. But however Nintendo decides to do it, I'm sure they will exceed all expectations. It's no secret, especially with the interviews that have happened with the developers for Breath of the Wild and its sequel, that they're absolutely in love with the world that was built for the game. That being said, a lot of the world will most likely stay the same, but with hopefully a lot of additions and things to explore in Hyrule. The teaser trailer that was given to us for the sequel shows some kind of underground area, maybe under a random dungeon, or it was under Hyrule Castle. So it was would be cool to have some underground exploration with that maybe even an expanded map i personally just can't imagine the developers leaving the world the way it is and i think that the world should be much different than we anticipate i think it's crucial for nintendo to keep what they've already built with the map but expand on it and make the experiences fit what is going on in the world specifically as it relates to the situation that will most likely unfold with breath of the wild 2. now given the ending of the original we can assume that many structures or areas won't be the same such as Hyrule Castle, and will it be completely repopulated and restructured? Since it is the same map, adding in and restructuring areas will definitely make the most sense, especially after Ganon's defeat. One thing that I would really love to see in Breath of the Wild 2 is Terrytown even bigger than we already built it to be. I'd love to just travel to Terrytown and see a massive village compared to the one we built in Breath of the Wild. Now, in Breath of the Wild, we were introduced to four old champions, Urbosa, Daruk, Mifa, and Ravioli. And obviously, I'm referring to Rivali, along with their successors, Riju, Sidon, Yanobo, and Teba. It would be absolutely crazy to not see the four non-Hylian races involved in the new games, especially seeing these new champions flourish. And dare I say, it would be also awesome to play as them as well, considering their powers and such. Although the Divine Beast will most likely not be returning in any way other than their powers, it would be awesome to see them play their part in the story and continue to see them strive. I mean, Nintendo's surely got to give us new champion abilities, right? For instance, like Riju's Fury, Sidon's Grace, Yanobo's Protection, and how could we forget Teba's Gale? Now, obviously, it's safe to say we're going to have new abilities, but those are pretty good names. You can't deny they roll off the tongue. Every single time that a Zelda game is played all the way through for me, I'm always left craving for more. I think that throughout the time span that the game is out, it would be perfect to release more DLC expansions to maybe explore new lands and have more levels to complete and puzzles to solve. The first Breath of the Wild did a great job with the DLCs, the Master Trials, and the Champions Ballad that they did release. If it wasn't for those two expansions, I probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos till this day. I think the first Breath of the Wild did a great job with the DLCs that they released and they served a great purpose, but I was left wanting more and craved more to play. Nintendo could definitely take the opportunity to expand on this idea and ultimately it can't hurt them in any way other than just sell more copies, right? But it's 
it's not necessarily about that. The story that we knew was over, and there's still more story left to be unheard, but all of Link's previous memories were regained. So all that's left is to continue going forward. The next big thing that I'd like to see for Breath of the Wild 2 is weapons, upgrades, and repairs. I don't think that the sequel can hurt from adding new weapons, but let's hope that Nintendo can patch up the weapon breaking system even just a tiny bit. I think if they added a crafting system or a repairing weapon system could benefit them tremendously, along with adding more stat line of sorts to show the current weapon level durability that it currently has. Nothing sucks more than when you're in the middle of a battle and you're just way too into it and all of a sudden your sword breaks or your bow gets destroyed. Yeah, you could slow down times and change your weapon or your bow, but at the end of the day, it kind of slows down from the intensity of the game that it could be. The game itself could also benefit from a weapon upgrade system as well. Maybe weapon combinations or create brand new state-of-the-art weaponry or breaking down weapons for materials to create new weapons and gear. A full crafting system in Breath of the Wild 2 would be an absolute dream. One of the coolest things about Breath of the Wild was definitely the outfits and especially the additives adding certain gear or outfits could do for you in the game. One thing that would be really fun to see is unique crossovers in Breath of the Wild 2, such as a plumber outfit for Mario, or what about Ash Ketchum outfit for Pokemon? Maybe they could even add certain buffs to like, let's say Mario's suit, which could grant you the ability to jump higher while you had the suit on. Now, sure, this is a really weird request, but I just thought it would be really funny to see. Either way, new outfits in any way, shape, or form could never hurt a game like this. And Breath of the Wild already did a phenomenal job with it. I just think they could step it up for the sequel. Maybe they could start off with just adding more outfits fits and crossovers from previous Zelda franchises. Now we've seen some awesome returning characters in Breath of the Wild such as Impa, the Great Deku Tree, and the Great Fairies, however there are more that could easily be added to the game as well to make it feel fresh as well as more nostalgic. Since we know Breath of the Wild 2 is going with a little bit more of a darker undertone, could we see Dark Link for old time's sake? I don't know, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Guys, thank you so much for watching, this has been Wes, and I will talk to you on the next video.